So now that X-Men 97 is over, here's my ranking of all 10 episodes. Number 10, Montendo, Life, Death, number one. This episode, you could tell it wasn't made to be able to exist on its own, which is why I was in two parts. I did love seeing Jubilee get a chance to shine. And I'm a sucker for anything Storm-centric. I just felt that the relationship between her and Forge moved a little too fast. And the adversary just kind of came out of nowhere. Number nine, Life, Death, number two. It should have been one episode. It should have been given its time or it should have ran throughout the entire season. That being said, Storm getting her powers back was awesome. And no one has ever asked for more Professor X. So the cuts to his part were kind of like, man, I got it. Though he does get points for the classes and session scene. Number eight is number two. I know there's a lot of y'all going to think this is pretty low. The writing in this part was phenomenal. I just didn't like seeing the X-Men get their ass kicked by the executioner like they did, who we never saw again. And watching Storm get hit with that ray gun hit me to the core. That being said, that fight in the UN was amazing. And that stinger at the end. Number seven is episode nine, Talents Extinction Part 2. It had to follow the first part. And like the first part, I get it was a middle ground, and, but watching everybody get their butt kicked again. Though that gene fight versus Sinister was badass, and watching Wolverine get the adamantium rip, never thought I would see fatal attractions. Number six, fire made flesh. Never in my life did I think we would have gotten Inferno in an X-Men cartoon. They covered about six years worth of material in 25 minutes, which is my issue. It should have been two episodes. Not because they did a bad job, but because I wanted more. It was so good. Number five, episode seven, Bright Eyes. R Rogue might have been the MVP of this series. What's that old saying? Hell have no fury. Plus, we got a Captain America appearance. The reveal of the big bad. References to Hulk, Nightcrawler officially joining the team. But that opening sequence when Rogue went ballistic. Oh my God. Number four, Talents of Extinction, part three. The cameos. Bastion being a legit threat. The setups for season two. The way they actually end the fight. Flippin' Phoenix returned. Magneto lives. I'm still reeling from this episode. That's how you end the episode. That's just how you do it. <laughs> Number three has to be episode one, I swear. Say it with me now. Give them the forecast. None of us knew what to expect. It was a return to form. The combo moves. I still can't get over the explosive claws bouncing off a block. Proof that Cyclops is a competent leader. The return of the theme song, watching this was like watching The Force Awakens in a good way. Yeah, it had a lot of homages to the first episode, but what's wrong with that? It just gave us an inkling of what was to come this season and none of us had any idea. I went back and forth on number two and number one so much. Number two, Tolerance is Extinction, part one. We get who Bastion is. The Magneto was right scene. The Summers family cutting up and this masterpiece of a sequence with Nightcrawler and Wolverine. It was perfect. It was perfect. And number one, you knew it had to be there. Episode five, remember it. Everything that came before this episode, everything that came after it, this was the just point when we all realized this show was going to be different. For one, they even got us comic book fans. Nobody saw Gambit dying coming. The massacre of Genosha. Us watching some of our favorite characters just get taken out. Banshee is gone. We thought Magneto was gone. And it started so light with the scene and seeing all the cameos from Boomer to Dazzler to Exodus to Pixie. Oh my God. And then the scene was Cyclops telling the humans why they protect him and why he sent his son away. Cable seeing Madeline and telling her, I'm sorry. Rogue, Magneto, Gambit, Love Triangle coming to a head. This episode didn't mean anything to X-Men fans, to comic fans, Marvel fans, whatever. This episode affected anyone that watched it. And Gambit going out with the perfect message. The name's Gambit. Remember it. The writers told us nothing will be the same after this episode and they were right.